Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Analysis with Dr. Veronica. In this video, we will look at the text split function with a lot of examples. The text split function is a function that is brought in by Microsoft Excel to overcome the challenges with splitting data. We know that we can use the text to column functionality as well as flash field, but the text split function is a more advanced way of splitting your text. If this is the first time of coming to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up because whenever you give me a thumbs up, the YouTube algorithm will pull up the video anytime somebody searches for that particular subject matter. How to use a text split function? We will use a practical example and let us see what the text split syntax talks about. So when you type equal to and then you type text split, you open the bracket, you can see a lot of arguments in the syntax. The first one is the text. The text is basically the text that you're trying to split. The second one is the column delimiter. What is the delimiter that separates the text that you want to split? This can be a comma separator. This can be a column, a semicolon, a hyphen can also be a space. The row delimiter as well. So the row delimiter argument is optional only when you have put in your column delimiter. Your column delimiter argument is also optional, but it depends. If you put the row delimiter, then the column delimiter argument is optional. But if you do not put the row delimiter argument, that means you have to put the column delimiter argument. The next is the ignore empty. If you have empty spaces or empty cells that will come up at the end of the day, you can choose to ignore this. And then there is the match mode. You can use the match mode to check if you want a case sensitive match or a case insensitive match. And the last one is the pad width. When you end up with an asterisk NA error message, you can fill up that particular error message space with any text or anything that you choose. But we will see with seven different examples how to use a text split function and how to apply these parts of the arguments that we just talked about. The first example is the basic one. So we want to split the full names into the first name, the middle name and the last name. So we split it into the first name, the last name and order names. So we put text split. The text is what we want to split, which is this. The next one is a column delimiter. So we are trying to split the names horizontally across the columns. This is why we need the column delimiter. In this case, the column delimiter is the space, space between the names. Door and bell has a space separator. Spring and board has a space separator. Door, mat, free, the, both the three names has two space separators. So your delimiter is the space. And how to put this is you have to put the space in quotation marks, just like this. We can go ahead to close the bracket. The reason is because other arguments are optional. And when other arguments are optional, you can do without them. Arguments that are necessary or required, you have to provide something for Excel to work with. So I'm just going to hit the enter button on my keyboard and we can see how nicely split this has been done. Doorbell have been split horizontally across the columns. And I'm just going to drag this down to see how this can apply to all the other names. We can see how this is split really nicely across the three different columns. Example two, we want to see how to split a cell across rows. The previous example, we saw how to split a cell across columns. Here we have the names of some countries in Africa and we want to have the names arranged vertically across the rows. So how do we do this using text split? So we put the equal to sign and we type text split to open the bracket, we choose the text that we want to split. And in this case, we do not need the column delimiter. We need the row delimiter instead because we want to split the text vertically across the rows. Now the row delimiter, as we can see in this example, is a comma and a space, a comma and a space. And we are going to put that in by opening the quotation mark. You put the comma separator, you give one space, you close the quotation marks, and then you close the bracket. And this is what we have nicely done. Another way that we can achieve this by removing the space is if I go back to the formula 
I use only the comma separator and this is what we have. You can see spaces before Ghana, South Africa, before all the other countries after Nigeria, you can see a space before the country. So how you can remove these unwanted spaces is to use the trim function that we already went through in one of our tutorials. So we nest the text split function inside the trim function and we can get this nicely done. All the unwanted spaces have been removed from the outcomes that we have. In the third example, we will see how to split text string into rows and columns at once. This is the information that was sent to us, just exactly the way it was sent. You have this text string showing the name, showing the appraisal score, and showing the evaluation all in one cell. But we want to separate this information across rows and columns to look really nice. How do we achieve this with text split? You just type equal to and type text split, open the bracket, you select the text that you want to split, the column delimiter. We want the name and junior to be in different columns and the others will follow suit under it. So the column delimiter in this case is the equal to sign and we are just going to put this in quotation marks. The row delimiter in this case is a comma separator and a space. So we are also going to put this in quotation marks, comma, and give a space and you close the quotation mark. And we can close the bracket and hit the enter button on the keyboard. This is what we have. You have here the name, junior, the appraisal score is four and you have the evaluation which is exceed expectation. So I'm just going to copy this formula right here and paste here to have the same formatting applicable to the next text that we have here. Just to add that the text split function is another form of text function. And these works only on text. Text functions work only on text. And we will see that in an example. The next example is how to separate cells by multiple delimiters. We've been having only one single delimiter. In this example, we can see two different delimiters. So we have the semicolon and we also have the comma separator. We are going to use text split to divide the information in the cells by the multiple delimiters. Text split allows you to do this. So the first thing is to type the equal to sign and type text split, open the bracket, you choose the text you want to separate and you put the comma separator in this case, we want to separate the text across different columns. So we use the column delimiter. In a situation where you have multiple delimiters, you can use curly braces to put in the different delimiters. So I open the curly brace. The first delimiter is a semicolon, which I have here. I close this. I put the comma separator to take me to the next delimiter. The second delimiter is the comma separator and I close the curly brace. In this case, we are not making use of the row delimiter. So we just close the bracket and see what this gives us. This is really perfect. Everything has been nicely separated and we can still see a space before the HR manager. How to remove this space? We nest the text split function inside the trim function, which is another text function. And this is what we have. The space before the HR manager position has been removed. So I will just drag this down to have this effected on the next example. We will see how to split case sensitive or insensitive text in this example. In this particular example, we have a common delimiter for all the information that we see. But the problem is that this common delimiter is not case specific. In this first part, the X is a small letter X. In the second one, we have the combination of the capital letter X and the small letter x. So how do we handle this using the text split function? So we do this text split, open the bracket, choose the text we want to split, put the comma. In this case, we want to split it across the different columns. So we choose the column delimiter, which in this case is this x. So we can choose to put the small x or the big x. And let us put the small x to see what happens. I close this bracket. And let us close the bracket to see the result that we have. I will drag down and this is the challenge that we have because by default, the text split function is case sensitive. This is why it does not recognize 
the capital letter X because the case that I provided in the delimiter is the small letter X. So we can solve this problem by going ahead with other arguments in the text split function. So we don't need the row delimiter argument. We don't need the ignore empty argument. What we need is the case sensitive argument. So zero is for case sensitive match and one is case insensitive. In this particular example, we want it to be case insensitive. So I'll just put a one and I close the bracket and I hit enter on my keyboard and I will drag this down so that we can see what we have. Because I have imputed an argument for the results to be case insensitive, this is what I have nicely done. For example, six, we will see how to pad missing values in 2D array. This example that we have before us, we are going to split this using text split across the rows and the columns. Text split, we open the bracket, we select the text that we want to split. The column delimiter is the equal to sign. The row delimiter in this case is the comma separator. We close the bracket and press enter. And this is what we have. The reason for this asterisk NA is because there is a missing value in the source text. Excel has identified that there is a missing value in the source text. And we can see right here, appraisal score has nothing with regards to the column delimiter. And this is why it is returning for us an asterisk NA error to tell us that something is wrong. But we can fix this particular problem. The text split function gives us the opportunity to fix this using the pad width argument. So we will go straight to the pad width argument and see what this means. So pad width means that you can tell Excel that for every missing value from the source text, please include this value instead of showing me an error message. So in this case, I am going to tell Excel to put a hyphen instead of giving me an asterisk NA. I hit the enter button on my keyboard and this is what I have nicely done. Instead of having the asterisk NA error message, I have this hyphen. The last example in this particular video is seeing how to separate dates using the text split function. The link to this practice file is in the description box. The best way for you to learn how to use Microsoft Excel is to practice as you watch the video. So please open the description. You see the link to this practice file in the description box. And text split function is only available for Microsoft 365, Windows and Mac users, as well as Microsoft Online. If you have earlier versions of Microsoft Excel, you will not have the text split function in your Microsoft Excel. What you can use to perform these same splitting functions for text is the text to column and also flash fill function. There is a comprehensive video on how to split column data using text to column and the flash fill function. And the link to that video is also in the description box. Here we have some array of dates. And like we know, the text split function is a function that works only on text. So how do we apply the text split function to an array of dates? Knowing that Excel recognizes dates as numbers, not as text. So the first thing we will do is to convert the dates that we have into text. And we can do this by using a function called text. And what this function does is that it converts a value to text in a specific number format. So we open the text function and you choose the value that you want to convert into text. I use the comma separator. In this case, both arguments are very compulsory. So I have to provide information for both arguments in the text syntax. The format text tells you how your information is arranged. In this case, these are dates and it is arranged in the following format. It is arranged as month, DD for day, because I have the first example, the day values are two and the year is in it's four, one, two, three, four. I put this in quotation marks and I can close this. And we can nest this particular text function in the text split 
function like this. Text split, open the bracket. The text is what we have just converted from date to text. So I am going to put the comma separator right here. The column delimiter in this case is the slash sign that we have. And the reason also we are using the column delimiter argument is because we want to split the divided information into different columns, not different rows. So this is why we're using the column delimiter. I will put the quotation mark, put the delimiter that we have, close the quotation mark again and close the bracket. I hit the enter button on my keyboard and this is what we have nicely done. So I drag this down and you can see that the date information that we have here have been nicely split between the month, the day and the year. If this is the first time of joining my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the text split function in the comment section. And also let me know if you can carry out all these operations using text to column and also the flash fill function. The link to the file is in the description box. See you in another video where we will look at how to join cells using the text join function.